What's going on? It's Mad Mobile King Clutch here, and today, guys, we are finally here with the PS Touch tutorial. I know you guys have been asking me um, for an extremely long time. Um, I uploaded my PS Touch, how to download PS Touch video about a month ago, December 29th. I just checked, and um, guys, at the end of the video, I asked you guys um, to break 15 uh, likes to try to get, um, and then I bring you guys a thumbnail tutorial. You guys ended up killing that. You guys broke 45 likes, and it has over a thousand views. I just want to thank you guys a ton for that. That means a ton to me. I know I am late with this uh, tutorial, but we are finally here, guys, and I know I was wearing my, a different Michigan State sweatshirt in uh, that video but um first guys I'll show you guys the four apps that you guys will need I put them all in this folder just so you guys can see you need the PS touch now guys the download on that PS touch uh, material the video the original video like that file it doesn't work anymore so all I did I linked the file that works for it now in that video so go check it out it has it you guys will know it's a one PS to other other PS touch video on my channel um, so just type in PS Touch in the search bar. I'll probably link that video down below. But it is just, um, I said check description for the new link, and then it's like new link, and then you guys can download it over there if you guys do not have PS Touch uh, first yet. But you will need a PS Touch uh, Fonto Super Impose, which does cost a dollar, and uh, your eraser app. So I'm going to be making the thumbnail for this video. I'll try to go um, as in depth as possible with this um, for, so, for you guys so you can follow it. Um, but anyways, guys, let's get right into this. So um, first, whatever video you guys are going to want to make, you're going to want to have you know your thing to mask. Or whatever. So um, I made this previously. Um, I just did it real quick, but um, I saved it and everything. But what you're gonna want to do, you're gonna want to open up Super Impose. Now this can seem kind of confusing, but it is really not that hard once you get the hang of it. PS Touch, I feel like, is a lot more confusing. So I already saved this and everything. This is what I'm gonna use for the thumbnail for this video. But um, I'll just scrap it so you guys um. Just, I'll give you guys a quick example. So I have all these backgrounds. So I'm not gonna sh give you guys a background because I don't want everyone to obviously use the background. But there's a few that I'll let you guys have. Honestly, I really could kill us. I'll, I'll tell you guys, just literally look up abstract background in a color and then literally you'll find probably these and a ton of other ones. These are just some of the ones I like to use. But um, I'll just use this one. This was the one on my previous uh, video. Um, but I make sure it's 16 by nine uh, because that is the thumbnail size that you need to have. So um, you'll have your background and then you go up to this photo gallery thing uh, button right in the top left corner you'll hit photos and then say um there's anything here you want to mask um just say like it's this little Madden EA logo I know this is completely random but um I'm not gonna like actually mask this and not gonna I'm not gonna do that good of a job but um, I'm just showing you guys this I couldn't also use the PS touch I just already had that made but um there's all these different tools here that you can use there's this magic wand uh, the brush and the smart brush I know this is pretty much just how I make my thumbnails but it's just an updated version and I'm showing you guys how to um uh, use PS touch I would probably just do um a part after I start on the whole PS touch thing it will be after this and sorry guys if there's like a glare on my face it's cuz um my TV is on but um anyways but um to do this all you probably want to do since it's on a PNG you'll probably just want to use the lasso thing and then um not the la that's not the lasso this and then you can just cut holes um, I'm not gonna go too in depth with this because this isn't uh, too confusing I feel like you guys should be able to figure it out it's not too hard but if you guys do want me to make a video on this I can't but um anyways I do have the background made uh, right any over here anyways but I already have it made so um and then for the font guys I know I didn't really go into depth with too much with the super um, imposed stuff but what you're gonna want to do I usually you can either just search up a black picture or you can just go to plain image and hit this little black thing uh, this little black picture right here and then just push this and then push use but um so what you're gonna want to do okay I'll t uh, you, these are all the fonts fonts that I use you guys can go on to the font that comment and download them on the fonto here uh, for absolutely free but um so what you guys want to do you're gonna pick the font that you guys want I'll just pick uh, I don't know which one I want to use honestly I'll just pick uh, this another danger but um so then you'll want to write ex what you want in your thumbnail so I'll put PS touch uh, tutorial for the uh, video or actually I'll put PS touch thumb yeah, I'll just put PS Touch Tutorial. Okay. So what you're going to want to do, obviously, you want to make sure the fonts are the same size. They're both 1.14.8. It doesn't really matter the size because you can change them in PS Touch later. And then here in Fonto, you can uh, make your color patterns and everything like that. I already made a video on this, so you guys can go check that. It was just, check that out. It was how I make my thumbnails. But I'm just going to add, um, you do not, guys, don't use a ton of black because you guys will understand, I'll show you guys that later, why you will probably not want to use a ton of uh, black coloring just because at the end it will start to get um, a little uh, messy and it won't look as nice. 
but um i'm just kind of messing around with these colors here you can literally do whatever colors you want obviously look at the look at Aries. Look at but um these are just some of the ones i like to use but um i'm just doing this for the thumbnail for the type of for the t color of ps touch and it just you know makes the uh thumbnail look better i feel like if you have colors you know that go along with what you're uh, doing your video about so I, and I like to have the text go vertical i know all of you guys probably don't really care about this but i just wanted to show you guys a complete tutorial of how i make my thumbnails i know this just isn't ps touch but this is just getting up to the point um to use ps touch so i'm just gonna add a few a little bit more blue here and uh, stuff like this you know just make the text pop a little bit more so i say we'll leave it like that and then this is all you want to do on here on fonto just make sure everything is aligned and all that kind of stuff so then you want to hit um your save image here and it will say save successfully and then you'll just you'll sometimes get ads and everything like that but then it will be saved so then you're going to want to go into your your eraser app open the picture you just made on um fonto then you want to hit um go to the, okay you guys want to want to hit this erase button go to this um little target area then hit all the black and then so the different fonts that you use there will be little black like spots left over you'll want to go through and mask all of these uh black spots so um okay and sometimes you can screw up like that and then you can just hit that little back arrow right up top and then you just want to go through and mask all of this out so then you just have this hollowed out with all the um white and everything like that and you just want to hit done and then you want to hit um the save button in the top right corner then hit save down here the little green button and then hit yes obviously and then it says save to the album now you go on to ps touch now i'll try to go as slow as possible with this just so you guys um because i don't want to go too fast these are all the other thumbnails i've made i have had to reinstall this a few times so there's obviously more thumbnails you guys can tell like the text looks different and all that kind of stuff you'll want to hit this little plus button i could do this horizontally but i'm just doing it vertically for the uh, sake of the video you want to go to your photo library and then you'll want to pick the picture you made. Now, it won't, probably won't be in moments. You'll have to go to all photos and find it there. But you'll want to go to um, the picture you made in Super um, Impose. So I have this here. I made this earlier. Now, okay. See, and then you'll hit this little side menu with these two little layers and the plus sign. You'll hit this plus sign. You'll hit empty layer. Now, um, I know this will seem confusing. I'm trying to go as slow as, I mean, I don't want to go overly slow, but I want to go just slow so you guys can have a uh, say, because it is kind of hard if you watch a tutorial and everything's really fast. So you want to have your empty layer made, just leave it how it is, and then you want to go up to this little dot thing in the corner. You want to hit select all, because then it selects the whole picture. You'll go to this and button, hit fill in stroke, and then you'll go to this type button here, select stroke, and then you can make this really as big as you want. I mean, I like to have it a little bit bigger, but I'll probably leave it around 26 or 27 right in there. So then you'll have that white area masked out. And then you'll hit this little two, you'll hit the plus button down on the bottom right hand corner. You'll hit this two little layer button and then hit overlay. And then that will give you this nice little border around your um, thumbnail, which is pretty nice to have. So after you get that, you'll want to hit um, uh, photo layer here again, then go to photo library. Now find the text that you had just made. Um, in Fonto and then after you mask it out in your eraser now like I said earlier it doesn't ma matter how big you make it and the reason you have to mask out all the black is because then you'll have this um, right here I know I could have made it a little bit darker with the background but I will probably fix that later um, and if you have it a certain size like, it will be weird like to the point where you can't like center it exactly so then you just have to play around with the sizes I mean it gets pretty frustrating so I just try to get it you know as close as uh, you as you possibly can and how you feel is a good center spot okay so there's good then you'll just hit this little check in the bottom corner then that will place your text down now what you're going to want to do you want to go back up to this little select box thing in the corner you'll hit select all and then select pixels you can either just go to straight to select pixels you don't have to hit select all i just do it this way i don't really know why but then it selects your pixels which was your text that you just have and see that when you erase your text that's why there is like the gridded png thing behind the text so make sure you have that all masked out and then just hit select pixels like i did there now you'll hit okay now after this after you select your pixels you'll hit this transform button and then you go to expand and then i put it around negative six or negative seven and you can just leave it there and then you'll be all set so then that um puts it in the inside of your text uh, which is nice to have so then um you'll come back to this window here and you'll hit this plus button and you'll hit layer from selection which will select that layer inside the selection from the expand that you just did now i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys but um that's how i interpret it then you'll hit this difference button which will uh, black out all that text now here make sure you push deselect because if you leave it like highlighted it will mess some things up if you leave it all selected so just hit deselect there then you'll have that blacked out 
Now you'll go um, up to the FX and then make sure you're in basic, hit ge Gaussian blur, blur, I don't know how to pronounce that word, but you'll just hit that Gaussian blur and then you can really set it to whatever you want, but I like keeping it down a little bit lower because then that gives you, um, you know, just a bet you're actually able to read it. So just go around eight or whatever you guys want. And then you go back to this double layer thing and then you can put this as whatever you want. The higher you have it, the more black uh, there will be, but then that just gives you a little bit uh, better of a color there. Now after this, you'll have these four things you should have if you guys have followed everything correctly. And then you'll hit this, so you'll see this in between the trash can and the little paint, uh, I don't know what to call it, the paint thing. And then you'll have this little merge button, then you'll hit merge down, which will merge the text together. Now this is where you get the cool effects on the text. So then you'll uh, go back to this plus button, hit uh, duplicate layer, which will duplicate uh, your text layer. Now this is where you can make the text look all sick. So you can add this linear dodge, this is what I like to do, linear dodge, you can literally add any of these that you would like. I usually like to start with the linear dodge and then add other things. You could do overlay first too, but the linear dodge tend to, tends to give it a brighter color, which I like. And then you hit, can hit duplicate layer as much, layer again, and you can literally put anything you want in here. You can hit duplicate layer as many times as you possibly want. I'll hit the linear dodge one more time, and then I'll hit duplicate layer, and then I'll add an overlay. And then I'll hit it one more time. And then, okay, there's that looks pretty good so far for me. I feel like how I want to have it. Then I can add like a screen or lighten or multiply. I'll probably go um, with the screen or light. And then you can change your percentage of how much you'd like also on any of those. But once you get it to something you feel like you'll have, you like, so then you'll hit this uh, little, little, after you get everything, you'll hit this little two uh, layer button. And then you'll hit merge down up until the point where you only have your uh, one text layer like this and then um, that will be merged down and you can't touch it. Well, I mean, you can go hit the back button and go back, but um, this is how, then you then everything will be good. So then you're gonna wanna go um, to this FX button and you wanna add a bevel, which um, it uh, let, let, eh, it makes the text pop a little bit more. I like having it. Um, your ang blur can be at eight. The angle can really be at anything you want. I just leave it around 90 there. But then that uh, adds that effect. And then you'll hit FX and then you'll hit your glow. Now the color for the glow, okay, I'll show you guys how to do it. I was really confused at the beginning. But see, you'll just hit this color button, and then you'll see the black and the white. You can either make it white or make it black. I usually like making it black. I just think it looks better. And then you'll go to this blur, and you can have the blur, obviously, as big as you want. I like having it a little bit higher, like around 30 or 40 or 50. But then uh, that's how what you have so far, and then that makes all your text pop. Now, what you can do to like merge more photos into everything, I'll show you guys that right now. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to add um, a photo layer, go to your photo library, and then I'll go um, to my... Uh, backgrounds here. So I'll just open some of these up. You guys can screenshot them if you want. I can care less, honestly. But um, So I'll add this one. And you can make these black and white too, which is helpful. And you can switch the accesses, which is um nice because when you're able to do that, um, you can like duplicate it on each side. I'll show you guys that later. But so say you want this one, you can either have it be blue or you can make it black and white. But I'll probably have it at a linear dodge to add. See, and then it merges in with the uh, photo you have to make um, a better background there. So what you can do, you can change it to black and white if you like, but um, I'll probably just leave it as the blue because then that goes along with the thumbnail theme a little bit better, but you can do those to anything. So I'll leave that there how it is, then I'll go add a few other things, you know, to make the thumbnail look um, even better than how it does uh, right now. But, um, so I'll, okay, I'll add this. This one I think looks sweet. Okay, actually, no, that was, um, <laughs> sorry guys, that, some of them I tried to save, but I had already had other things saved onto them. So we'll um, add another photo here. Um, so you can literally do this with anything, and if a color doesn't match, you can change the color. I'll show you guys how to do that. But um, I'll add this one right here. I think this looks like pretty cool. It's, um, it's like a little circle type thing. But um, I'll probably make this one black and white, and then it will add um, to the thumbnail. Because I just think it looks better. Some of them look better black and white if it is red and it does not go along with your theme. But you can literally, you can don't have to do linear dodge. I just think that's what looks the best. The overlay adds a little bit darker a tone to the thumbnail. So I guess I probably actually I'll put this down a little bit lower because I don't want a ton of it to be dark but then that adds um, more color and everything to your thumbnail. So I think that looks pretty sick. I'll add a few other things and then I'll show you guys how you can change the colors of everything. So um actually okay I'm just trying to think of something I could add. I'll add these little speckle things um then this like the blue ad looks pretty well with everything um how it is there. So I'll just uh put this actually I'll put this one on black and white just to add um, more color to the uh, well, because the blue is, there's a ton of blue on the thumbnail. But, um, see, then that adds a little bit more white to the thumbnail since it is, since it is black and white. Uh, and I don't know, and guys, the reason there's a yellow dot there is because I accidentally hit this. Um, you can just honestly hit the back button and then it will disappear eventually. It shouldn't save on there, but, um, that was a complete accident. But, um, see if you do that and then you'll just be able to erase it, uh, soon. But anyways, um, so you go over here, you'll go to the photo layer. 
and then you go, okay, so why did I go to my screenshots? But okay, so I'll show you guys how to change the colors of everything here. So say you have this red background here. Guys, how you will change the color on this, and then guys, you can flip the X axis and everything. So if you want it, like duplicate it on each side. But anyways, so you'll just hit the check button, you know, to uh, make sure you have that. You'll go to this little doggle thing right here, and then I don't even know why I pronounce it doggle. But um, you can either go here or you can go to here. I go actually just go to here and you hit the tint, and then you can literally change this to any color you would like. Um, but yeah, you can change this on this toggle, like this panel here. Color panel, you can change it to any color you would want. I'll probably just make this black and white. Um, and guys, sometimes more isn't as good as um, it is. Like I sometimes like having less. But also, usually, if you want your text too to be above that, like sometimes I like it like halfway in with it because then it's like I don't. Sometimes some some things it looks better under, and some things it looks better over. It really, really depends on the thumbnail. Like that one, it's a little hard to read. But as you get up here, like I think it looks good about there, and then it gets merged a little bit under that white. Um, so I think it looks pretty good there. Um, I accidentally got the yellow dot there. So guys, if you guys, I did figure out how to get these uh, dots on there in case you guys did get them on. That was actually a complete mistake. I didn't mean to. Um, you want to hit this paintbrush tool down on the bottom, and then you want to go all the way over. Um, you'll just hold. You'll hold on the paintbrush, and then you scroll all the way over, and then you'll see the eraser tool. Then you'll just want to go over that eraser, and then those dots uh, won't be there anymore. But then I'll just say or save um because the other one had the dot on them. But um yeah guys, this is pretty much how you guys do make your thumbnails here on Photoshop Touch. Um anyways guys um I know I was extremely late with this video this is how you save it so you just um go, you'll hit the back button then you'll want to uh, hit this little uh, thing in the bottom I don't know exactly what to call it the little export button you want to hit save the camera little kill click on the thumbnail you want to save and hit OK and then it will be um over in uh, your photos over here but um that was the one I said earlier but it is right here without the yellow dot on it but anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy um, this PS Touch tutorial. Um, hopefully, you guys uh, can make some uh, good good thumbnails, too. And hopefully, you guys um, do like the tutorial. Hopefully, you guys did understand everything. If you guys do not have Photoshop Touch yet, um, go on to the link in my old video, and then you guys will find it over there. But anyways, guys, please subscribe if you haven't. Anyways, guys, it's been Mad Mobile King Clutch. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys are great today. And peace out, guys. Thanks.